Hey and welcome back. First, you see this awesome recap playing in the background? Yeah, I created this bad boy on my phone using the completely free version of CapCut. And guess what? I've discovered a secret to cut your editing time from 30 minutes all the way down to just 15 minutes. Well, the first step is getting the audio for your script. Honestly, I tried to find a quicker method for writing the scripts, but for now, it's a manual process. But I am trying to find a better way, so maybe in the future. Now back to audio. I know there are a lot of voice generation mobile apps out there, and trust me, I've tried a bunch of them, but they either come with a hefty price tag or the voice quality just isn't quite there yet. So for now, we're sticking with a free and reliable option. Once your script is ready, that's where SpeechMark comes in. We'll head over to the website, copy and paste our text, and in just a few clicks, we'll have a professional sounding voiceover ready to go. Okay, so with the script and audio sorted, let's talk about the visual side of things, getting our screenshots. Okay, so I found that with my iPhone, the built-in screenshot feature is just the easiest and most reliable way to go. It works perfectly every time, but if you're on Android, you have a whole world of possibilities. There are so many apps out there with extra features that can make this process even better. So here's where I need your help. If you're an Android user and you found an amazing screenshot app that makes your life easier, please share it with us. Drop the name in the comments below and let's build a resource for the entire community. That we've got everything, your perfect script, that killer voiceover and all your organized screenshots, it's time to get into the good stuff. Let's head over to CapCut, fire up the app, create a new project, and then just drag in the very first image you want. This is a game changer. This one single image is all we need for the entire recap. You'll see why in a second, so hang tight. First things first, let's get it on the timeline. Now resize this panel and center it, so it's taking up a little less than half the background. Speaking of which, let's go back, then click background and select image. You can adjust it to your liking. And just like that, you've got a solid base to work with. Okay. Now for the secret source, keyframes. If you've never used them, they're super simple. Think of them as your image's personal motion creator. They tell it to go from point A to point B. I find that two keyframes are all you need to get that sweet, smooth, upward or downward motion. And a quick pro tip, make sure your keyframes are set so that anything you don't want in the screen doesn't show. For my case, it's the web page URL here, and then you don't have to crop the image, hence saving time. See how clean that motion is? And let me be real for a second. I tried a bunch of other editing apps like VN Editor, and the motion was always so jittery. It just wasn't smooth. That's why I'm sticking with CapCut and won't even bother with the others. It just gets the job done better. Now let's make this thing look awesome. Click on your image and hit effects, then video effects. Seriously, there are so many free effects in here, it's nuts. I'm using this shake effect right here. You can totally customize it too. But here's the real talk, especially if you're new. The goal is to make a ton of videos, so don't get lost in the source. Pick a few effects you love and stick with them. A phone will never be a laptop, so let's focus on creating, not getting bogged down with every tiny detail. Next, we hit adjust. This is where we give the image that polished HD vibe. You want to make your dark areas a little darker and your light areas a little brighter. Just go to graphs and set the curves like I did. You can tweak other things too, but this is honestly enough. The best part, you only have to do this once on this first image. You'll see later what I mean. All right, last but not least, Let's add an overlay to really make this video stand out and add transformative value. You know, give YouTube what it wants, hit the add button and go to overlays. I'm going to the atmosphere section and grabbing this cool overlay. Just pop it on your timeline, resize it, and then go to splice and hit lighten. See how it just blends into the image? You can see those tiny dots when I move the slider. That's what makes it look so professional. And hey, don't feel limited. You can use anything from rain to snow and you can find a ton of free, high quality overlays on sites like Pexels and Pixabay. So, here comes the fun part. This is the thing that's gonna make your recaps go hella faster. After we are done adding effects to the main image, now just click duplicate a few times. Once you have your duplicates, click on the second image and hit replace. The best thing about CapCut is that it automatically adds all the effects, adjustments, and even those keyframes you set to the new image. It's an instant time saver. Let's go ahead and replace a few more images. Now you might see that a new image has the same URL on the bottom that you don't want. No worries, it's a quick fix and the good thing about those keyframes is that they can be easily adjusted. But let's come back to that later. For now, let's get the audio in there. It's super simple. Click audio, go to your library, and add that voiceover we created to the timeline. Okay, here comes the part that's a bit tedious, but it's essential be it a computer or mobile. You've got to adjust all your panels to match your dialogues. You'll need to click and drag to your liking. Just keep in mind that the keyframes do not automatically shift with the length. Now two things when you are shortening the length, the keyframe disappears and when you increase the time, the keyframe stays at the same place and does not go to the end. Secondly, the thing about keyframes is you can easily remove them by hovering the line over them and clicking the minus keyframe icon. You can also go to the end and just drag the screenshot wherever you want it to end and it will automatically add the motion. And also, honestly, keyframes disappearing when changing length is not a bad thing at all. 
You know why? Because we don't want the exact same motion in every single panel. YouTube hates template-based videos, so whenever you add a new keyframe, try something different. Go back, or zoom in, zoom out, or move the image from left to right. It's a bit of a tedious process, but that's just the limitation of mobile editing, and it makes your video feel unique. Now that we have everything set up, you could honestly upload your recap just as it is, and it would look great. But I'd advise you to do a few more things to really make it pop. First, let's add an image on top of our existing image. You don't have to go overboard, just a little here and there to add some value. Click Overlay, add your image and resize it. You can crop it or even use keyframes to give it some cool motion. Yes, it takes a little extra time, but the result is so worth it. Next, you can add more effects to some specific images. Think about things like blinking lights or a subtle fade in. It's all about making this a better recap. And when it comes to transitions, don't go crazy. Super distorted ones can be a little jarring. Stick with simple transitions like a dissolve, blur or slide. They just look more pleasing to the eye. Lastly, you can also add stickers or some quick text captions to really enhance the video. It's super easy to do and adds a nice bit of extra flair. One last game-changing tip, you can use this same project over and over again. Just replace the images and the audio and you'll save yourself a ton of time instead of importing everything from scratch. Now, before you go, if I missed anything, please let me know in the comments. Or if you know a better way to do something or have any cool tips that could help others, please share them below. Let's make this a great resource for everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you create some awesome manhwa recaps. Take care.